Hi everyone. Saturday and I'm going to attempt to can some of these pink banana squash. It's a winter squash. It's a lovely pale shade of pink and they're pretty good size. As you can see it's taken up the sink. I've already went ahead and peeled one of them and it was very easy to peel. I just used my little um, I have a ceramic peeler or just a regular potato peeler and it was very easy. I just went and took that outer skin off, washed it off a little bit. I'm going to cut it open and see what it looks like inside. I know there's seeds in there, although I've cut the ends off, you can't really see. But it smells wonderfully like pumpkin. It has a real good sweet smell. So we're going to cut it open. I'm going to show you what it looks like cut open and the seed cavity. And I'll see if Sam wants to save some of these seeds because now it's uh, seed saving time of the year. While we harvest, we try and save some seeds. So uh, we'll go to the next. Well, I cut it open. It's a little tough to cut open, as all winter squash are. They're pretty uh, dense. And you can see the size of the seeds are kind of like a pumpkin seed, which is not surprising. But I'm going to, I use my ice cream scoop to scoop this out. I'm going to scoop out all the seeds and chop it up and get it ready to go in jars. But I wanted you to see the seed cavity. And, because I've never seen this kind of squash before. It looks like it's more seeds than anything, but it is a really dense squash. And I think we'll get some good tasting um, meat out of it. So let's go to the next step. So I'm taking a break from the one I'm canning, and look what Sammy picked. This is one half of the um, winter squash, huh? Don't film me. Don't film you? Yeah. He's foosty. But look at all of it. I'm going to be busy cutting up and canning for a while. We're going to share some of this, right? Uh-huh. Okay, good. <laughs> that's a lot of canning. But I'm taking a little break from uh, the, ban the uh, pink banana. I thought you'd like to take a look at this. Are we blessed or what? And we had a flood and we still got it. Okay, back to work. Aren't they pretty? I don't know if you can make the color out here in the kitchen, but they're really pretty. I had from those two pink bananas, so you saw how big they were, I have nine cores and a little left over. So I'm just continuing to chop up because I'm going to be canning this for two days, probably straight. Um, any of you who are interested and go to our church, we will have some tomorrow. If you want to can some, that lets you know uh, the size as far as uh, how many quarts you're going to get out of them. But um, you've seen what Sammy has yielded out of, yielded out of the uh, first patch of ground where the winter squash was. And uh, we're going to be sharing some of that tomorrow. So anybody who's watching, I just want to give you a heads up. And then I'll continue to can. But it's got a really pretty color. Really pretty. Well, there they are. I just took these out of the canner. And uh, they will float a little bit at first, but then they usually sift down to the bottom of the jar. But I think they turned out good. I only left them in the pressure canner for an hour this time. Um, I went by the manufacturer's booklet this time, or before I kind of left them in a little longer. Either way, they're good. So these are our pink banana squash. And I ended up with 14 quarts. And then I made a little treat for Sunday school which is over here. Well, this is extra for Sam when it's midnight snack. But it's those little cinnamon roll-up, cream cheese roll-ups. So I haven't tasted it because the smells in this house today are too overwhelming. <laughs> so I don't really have much of an appetite. But I hope you've enjoyed this short video, and I hope you'll give pink banana squash a try. Have a good day.